careful folks. New at 10 tonight at Wednesday's County Commissioner's Court meeting, one local organization spoke during public comment on concerns of an agreement between the county and the Coastal Bend Wellness Foundation. That agreement to use the county's public libraries for sex education and health classes through a program called RUSH. Javier Guerra reports on those concerns and why some think that program actually benefits the community. Well, when you look into the curriculum a little bit further, it appears that making proud choices is essentially a how-to manual for sexual activity and implies that many, if not most, teenagers are sexually active in our community. That was Colby Wiltsey, Executive Director for County Citizens Defending Freedom. At Wednesday's Noises County Commissioners meeting, Wiltsey and other organizers expressing their concern with Project Rush being taught to area youth. And I'm asking the court to reconsider allowing Project Rush to be brought and taught in our public libraries to terminate the memorandum of understanding with Coastal Bend Awareness and ultimately protect the hearts and minds of the children in Nueces County from curriculum like Making Proud Choices. We reached out to Bill Holscher, CEO of the Coastal Bend Wellness Foundation. He tells us this about the curriculum. Project Rush is a sexual education uh, project to try to reduce uh, the, the number of STIs and teen pregnancies. Hosher says this was already approved in the past. Um, it was actually initiated under the uh, Donald Trump pre uh, presidency. The curriculum and what we're doing is as uh, actually uh, a prescribed curriculum that was approved uh, by that administration. We also spoke to Nancy Vetta with the American Federation of Teachers, who was at Wednesday's meeting. When I heard that, I was quite concerned because I have read the curriculum, the Rush curriculum. And in fact, I have it here and I've studied it and what they were saying was nonsense. We also attempted to speak to the county citizens defending freedom, but they told us they had no comment on the situation and that a press release would be sent out soon. No word yet if county commissioners will re-examine the agreement with the Coastal Bend Wellness Foundation and the county. Javier Guerra, Chris 6 News.